Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mike Ichi, and it's Saturday, April 23rd. A Tesla vehicle was caught on camera crashing into a $3.5 million Cirrus Vision jet. At a Cirrus event in Spokane's Felt Fields Airport, what appears to be a Model Y was being summoned as it crashed into the plane on the runway. Of course, on the runway. The video evidence would point to the owner not paying attention when summoning the vehicle, since it looks like there was plenty of time to see that it was headed straight for it. In order for Smart Summon to work, the owner has to keep their finger on the button in the app. As soon as they lift their finger, the car comes to a stop. In this case, it's actually particularly concerning that the Tesla vehicle kept moving forward after making contact with the plane. As Tesla is raising prices, noting the rising cost of materials and supplies, Tesla is also showing record high gross margins last quarter at 32.9%. Historically, Tesla's gross margins went up from 26.5%, which was already one of the highest in the industry, to almost 33% over last year. Contrary to wide industry concerns, including from Tesla itself, in a list of factors affecting profits, Tesla lists both increased average selling price and decreased cost per vehicle. Musk explained in the conference call for the 2021 results that Tesla raises their prices based on expected costs in the future. CFO Zach Kirkhorn added that Tesla might slightly decrease prices if those expected costs don't materialize. Tesla confirmed that nearly half of all its vehicles being produced last quarter are already using cobalt-free iron phosphate batteries. Over the last years, CEO Elon Musk has said multiple times that Tesla plans to shift more cars to the chemistry in order to overcome nickel and cobalt supply concerns. Now with the release of the first quarter financial results, Tesla confirmed that nearly half of all the vehicles have made the change. According to the data shared, roughly half of Tesla's volume comes from the Model 3 rear-wheel drive, the cheapest vehicle, and also the Model Y standard range, which is only offered in China. Tesla has started testing in-car Wi-Fi hotspot connectivity with several major internet providers. Although it started as a free service long ago, back in 2018, Tesla began charging money for the connectivity services to offset the growing internet costs. Recently, the automaker launched a software update to allow owners to use their phone's Wi-Fi while driving as an alternative. Now, Tesla has been spotted working on using Wi-Fi hotspots from an internet provider. A Twitter user going by Analytic managed to activate the new feature in their vehicle, and a back-end sleuth known as Green corroborated the find. There's no telling when this feature will make it to market, as it appears to be in the testing phase. Hyundai Motor Group and We Drive Solar have teamed up to help create a completely bi-directional region in the Utrecht city in the Netherlands. We Drive Solar has equipped 25 Ionic 5s with vehicle-to-grid technology to send power back to the homes and businesses during peak energy hours. Residents of Utrecht will be able to drive one of the shared cars through We Drive Solar, up to 150 to choose from by the end of the year. The goal of Hyundai's collaboration with We Drive Solar is to make Utrecht the first region in the world with a bi-directional energy ecosystem. In today's community comment, Sayors Paisley says, Ah, my eyes, too much green. Seriously though, too much green. Well, you know what? Let me fix that. Here we go, much better. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.